rasterization or ray tracing. Either way, I'm here today to help you get the most out of Lumion 2023. Lumion 2023 isn't just about new features, tools, and effects. It's a foundational shift with a completely redesigned render engine that blends both rasterization and ray tracing technologies so you can achieve even greater realism in your renderings with even less effort. Rendering is the moment your vision comes to life. So let's do it right. Let's make it shine. Stick with me through this tutorial and I'll bring you up to speed on the impressive new features in Lumion 2023. If you haven't already, go grab the trial at lumion.com so you can follow along. It's the full version. Let's get to it. Once you've installed Lumion and started it up, a hardware benchmark will check the speed of your computer. The results are shown here. It's important to follow the recommended specs and make sure you have the right hardware. You will especially need a good graphics card to get the most out of Lumion. If you're wondering how your machine would fare in this benchmark, well, the trial includes the benchmark and you can also check out Lumion's system requirements at lumion.com. Let's take a look at the welcome screen. Click on the benchmark button to see more detailed benchmark results. This computer has an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti card and all the benchmark bars are above recommended, which means this machine is going to handle some fairly complex scenes. Click back. A fresh welcome screen with links to all the useful areas of information is here now. Keep an eye on it for updates and other useful tips in the carousel. Also, Lumion's been getting a new example project with every major update that showcases new features. There's a total of nine to select from for fully textured projects with custom effect stacks that you can use. In other words, these scenes are carefully crafted and ready to render. There's some classics as well as a variety of different settings, which makes them a great place to explore when you want to learn on your own. Before we build our scene, let's take a lap around the streetscape scene. Click on the thumbnail to load the scene. The scene is super detailed, really amazing. Hold down the right click button and move your mouse to look around. To move around in Lumion, use the WSAD keys to move your camera forward, backward, left, or right. Q moves the camera up, E moves the camera down. For a helpful combination that will get you anywhere, hold down the W key and the right mouse button at the same time. Then move your mouse to steer. Let's fly around and have a look. To move faster, you can hold the shift key down as you're using the navigation keys. If you really want to push your speed, you can also throw in the space bar. Let's get back on task and finish exploring the welcome screen. Click on the save and load projects button at the bottom right to go back to the welcome screen. It's important to save our work as we build our scenes, first with the Save As button to store the scene on our hard drive, then just Save to continue updating the file with your progress. When we are ready to continue working on a scene we have saved, we can load it from here. Click back. That's it for the welcome screen. Let's jump right into creating a project. Click on the Create New button. You'll see nine pre-built environment templates to choose from. I like to start with the plain environment. We are now in build mode, where you spend most of your time working and crafting your Lumion scene. This is where we bring our designs to life. You can load your project into Lumion by clicking the place button at the bottom left corner of the screen, then click import new model. There are several options for direct imports. And with LiveSync, you can import your model and create a real time connection. It's as simple as a click of a button to get it in Lumion. Check out this incredible office interior made by one of our very own architects in Rhino. On the bottom left, you'll see the main navigation has four tabs, content library, materials, landscape, and weather. Let's dive into the weather options. It's easy to change the sun height and direction by using the dials, and you can easily control the number of clouds using the slider. At the bottom right, you can access the photo, movie, and 360 panorama modes. Use these to create images, animations, and 360 images. Click the disk icon to get back to the welcome screen to manage your files. It's good practice to save as often as possible, especially if you plan on some major changes. The save button is disabled because a new project must be saved as first. Let's do that now. Now just click on the build button to jump back to the scene you were working on. Click the gear icon to access Lumion settings. If you are falling short on the benchmarks or have a large Lumion scene, you might consider backing down these settings here to increase response times. I like to keep my settings maxed out because I know my computer can handle it. Ultra wide or 4K monitors can put a drain on your system. So you may consider switching the window screen resolution to 1920 by 1080 or simply resize your Lumion window to lighten the load. Here's another performance tip. You can turn on proxies to replace objects that are further away in your project with placeholder boxes. Input and system settings let you further customize your Lumion experience. Click back to return to build mode. Hovering over the question mark button overlays the screen with some helpful tips. 
If you are ever lost, look here for some help. And don't forget, clicking on the question mark while in build mode will start Lumion's built-in tutorial. With our Office Atrium model imported, it's now time to talk materials. Lumion 2023's versatile new material system lets you import, customize, and create any texture you can think of, so you can effortlessly make your surfaces feel real. Let me show you. Select the Materials tab. Hovering your mouse above any surface from our imported model highlights it. If you click on a highlighted material, you will see the Lumion Material dialog appear. There are three main category tabs, New, Library Materials, and Landscape. Each tab has its own subcategories. You can either swap the imported materials with a Lumion material or assign Lumion properties to the imported material. Check out this glass. If your material name contains glass, Lumion automatically applies its new and improved glass material. Click on the Materials tab, then on the Glass Collection. Roll your scroll wheel to quickly browse any library in Lumion. Click to select a glass preset. I'd encourage you to click on a few presets to explore some possibilities. Double click a thumbnail to refine its properties. Adjust the sliders to get the look you want. I like a little relief in my glass to make things look less computer generated. In Lumion 2023, you can now load your own maps into glass materials. I'm going to swap out this concrete floor with a super realistic displacement texture. There are some materials with built-in displacement maps. You can spot these by the D on the icon. These add depth and realism to an otherwise flat surface. These textures are truly amazing. If you are good with texturing in your modeling program, it's easy to add Lumion properties to the imported materials. Click on the material, then head back to the New tab and choose Standard Material. Double-click to adjust several properties. In Lumion 2023, you can load in several other maps to accurately represent your vision. Load a color map here. Now, load the displacement map. Click this button to create a normal map from the displacement map, or why not load your own? Let's also add the roughness map, and 30 seconds later, it's a pretty amazing result. There are several other tabs to adjust position, weathering, and foliage. The new full PBR workflow makes it really simple to craft the most amazing looks. Our knowledge base has a full explanation of what all of those options do. I'll add a link below just in case. Keep in mind, while in build mode, some things will look a little different from the final rendered version. For example, real skies, faraway objects, grass, lighting, and some material details will look pixelated while editing, but crystal clear once rendered. This compromise between edit quality and output quality is what keeps you moving fast in Lumion. Let's take another look at the Content Library tab at the bottom left, so we can start populating our scene with realistic objects. To see the Content Library, Make sure to click on the Place button first, then select a top-level category to find the perfect object for your scene. Within each of these categories are several subcategories, and within each subcategory, there are often several pages of results. In total, the Lumion Content Library has over 6,000 models, and if you only want to use the new ones, as we will here, just type L23 in the search bar, and Lumion will show you all of the latest goodies. Let's go back to Place. Click on the People and Animals category, Roll your scroll wheel to browse. Click on a character collection to open, then choose a character. Move your mouse into the scene. You will notice that the model is attached to your mouse. Click anywhere on the ground to place the character. This is how you can place any model from the content library. I'm gonna add a few more animated men and women to my scene. If you're not happy with their initial position, make use of the newly added gizmo to move them around or rotate them. It's a really slick new tool. If the gizmo is not your thing, the other icons in the object area allow you to select and move, rotate, scale, and delete objects to get the perfect arrangement. Now let's add some lights. Choose from spotlights, omnilights, and area lights. An omnilight placed in a darker area can lighten up a scene. Hold H and move your cursor to adjust the height before placing. New in Lumion 2023, all brightness settings are displayed in lumens or nits and you can also adjust the size of the light. Get this, if you choose to go with the ray tracing workflow, area and line lights now cast incredible shadows. Also new in Lumion 2023, emissive materials now cast shadows when using the ray tracing workflow. Let's add a little emissiveness to this material so we can see the results later. Next, we're going to place a few fine detail plants, which you can find in the fine detail plants category. Open a collection, then choose a plant. You can use keyboard shortcuts to rotate and scale to get the object just right before placing. All of these objects are pre-animated, 
truly optimized for Lumia. Heads up, these fine detail nature models are much richer than the other nature objects in Lumia. As a result, they'll make your scene heavier and can slow down render speed. So use the fine detail nature models wisely and use your architectural photography skills to capture them. Let's add objects really fast using the mass placement function. Let's go back to the objects category and choose a chair model. Click here to activate the mass placement tool. Click to start the line, then hold control to continue to add points. This menu pops up for you to adjust the number of items, direction, spacing, and offsets. Let's do it again to add some objects to the counter. It's easy to add additional objects to the mass placement path. Click on another object in the library, then click on the plus sign. See how it gets mixed in there? Click the check mark to confirm. Let's add some trees outside, even faster with the paint placement tool. Click here to activate it. Set the density, pick an object, then hold the left mouse button and sweep your mouse like a brush across an area to place hundreds of nature objects in your scene. Switch to erase to thin out the paint placement and achieve a more realistic result. As I navigate, you see the proxies kicking in? They keep the screen frame rate up and your frustration level down. If you're headed into a client presentation, or showing a live walkthrough. Remember, you can disable proxies in the settings here. With these powerful placement tools and extensive library, your model will go from barren to lush in minutes. If you move the mouse to the top of the screen, layers will appear. You have access to 32 layers. Let's select the trees we placed outside and move them to a different layer, just to showcase how useful this can be. It's good practice to assign different object types to different layers. Our scene is complete. Now for my favorite part. Let's mix some effects and snap a few photos. On the bottom right, clicking on the camera icon will take us to the photo mode. This is where you can take snapshots of the scene you've built and add effects to make a more compelling image. The interface of the photo mode is a bit different than build mode, but you still move around your scene with the same camera navigation controls. Adjust your focal length with this slider. You can double click on any slider to enter precise values. 20 is nice for interior shots. Then set the heading and pitch so your camera faces forward. Save camera locations by clicking the store camera button above each camera slot. Let's add a few shots. Clicking on any stored camera takes you back to that spot in your scene. These numbers below get you access to additional photo sets. There's room for a hundred shots. In Lumion 2023, you can create the perfect composition for your visualizations by rendering directly in your preferred aspect ratio. Before we get into adding individual effects, let's explore the styles. These are truly the easy button in Lumion. Check out the preview. Now take a look at some renders of this project using only styles. There are several options from realistic to sketchy. When your project needs to be finished very quickly, all you need to do is click on a style to get a fairly good result with very little effort. Clear the style by setting it back to custom. The FX button at the top left is the door to Lumion's effects. You can blend several effects to build your own custom style. There are several different effect categories, featured, concept, architectural, lighting, sky and weather, camera, animation, artistic, enhancements, tools, and utilities. If you know you have effects that you want to apply across the board, the new main photo button has you covered. This means you only need to make minor tweaks to each of your photos. Let's give it a try. The best effect to start with is real skies. This will set the mood of the entire image with beautiful natural lighting. There are about 60 real skies with pre-configured skylight settings. Let's start by building out a sunny setting. On this beautiful sunny day, the sun is casting really harsh shadows. Add the shadows effect and turn on soft shadows and fine detail shadows. That's much better. Let's add another advanced effect to the stack, reflections. This is a very useful effect for achieving more realism. Turning on Speed Ray improves reflections without much of an impact on your computer performance. This button allows you to add reflection planes to specific surfaces. These are perfect reflections, but they have a bigger impact on computer performance. Add the color correction effect. The exposure effect has been moved here, and in Lumion 2023, there are histograms to help you get the perfect shot by avoiding burnt highlights and ultra dark shadows. Add the depth of field effect to put the focus on your subject by subtly blurring the background, foreground, or both. I try not to go overboard with these effects, so I'll back down the amount slider. Add the two-point perspective effect to shore up the vertical perspective lines with the camera frame. 
Click on the preview window to render a quick, high quality snapshot. This feature saves us a lot of time and guesswork when adding effects. Keep in mind that our final render will be even better than what we see here. After you add a handful of effects, you can save your unique stack of effects to files. In just a moment, I'll show you how to use these effect stacks in the movie and 360 panorama studios. Now let's explore a new rendering workflow that's easier and produces even more stunning results than the rasterization method I just showed you. New in Lumion 2023 is ray tracing. You will find the ray tracing effect in the lighting category. You can adjust the number of samples to increase quality, but to keep things snappy on this demo, I'll leave it at 16 while working and just increase it before rendering. If you are really in a pinch for time, you can decrease the number of bounces, but I always leave the noise reduction toggle on. Click the arrow to get back to the effect list. You will notice that some effects are now blocked by the ray tracing effect. This new technology is going to take over to create far more realistic reflections and shadows. Click the blue render button to export the current shot or the entire photo set. Check out these final renderings. This new technology produces much more realistic results. To make an animation, switch to movie mode by clicking the film strip icon at the lower right. This is where you become a director. Your job is to tell the story of your design. Let's record a camera path. Like before, you can move around your scene clicking the plus sign to store camera locations. The difference now is that Lumion fills in the camera path between the locations to make a movie clip. Click the play button to see a real-time preview. You can change the speed of the clip with these buttons. Slower camera movements are usually better. For better control of your camera speeds at the beginning and end of the clips, just click on the smooth or linear buttons on either side of the timeline to choose whether the camera accelerates at the beginning of a movie clip and decelerates at the end, or if the camera maintains a constant linear speed. Drag and drop camera keyframes to change the order. Update, delete, and insert camera keyframes with these buttons. Click the check mark to save the clip and go back to the movie mode. New in Lumion 2023, create animations more quickly and easily than ever with the orbit path, dolly shot, pan and tilt shot, and follow object presets. Learn more about these in the knowledge base. I've added a few more clips. You can play the clips back individually by selecting a clip and clicking the play button, or play the entire timeline, click and drag on the timeline to quickly navigate through your movie. You'll see a vertical line separating the clips when you play them back all together. In Lumion, you edit your video before you render. Instead of building an effect stack from scratch, let's take a shortcut and load the sunny afternoon effect list that we created for the photos. How easy is that? Now let's render the whole movie by clicking on the button at the bottom right. You are presented with a menu where you can choose the render settings. Keep in mind, there's a trade-off between quality and render time. We're going to do four stars, 30 frames per second at full HD, a very high quality output. You will be prompted for a file name and location. This is a brief glimpse of the rendered output. Remember that the render time depends on your chosen quality level, graphics card, and the length and complexity of your movie. You can use the ray tracing effect for movies, but it can take much longer than the rasterization workflow. Panoramas work very similar to photos, only they're 360, and you can navigate live through them on your device. We'll store a couple to take a look. Let's first render the shot as a virtual reality output. There's a big difference in the time it takes to render draft quality versus production quality. So unless it's really necessary, select draft quality. View these in your VR headset for an immersive 3D experience. You can also render the panoramas to MyLumion. This will send your online render and its unique link to your or anyone else's email. It's rendering to MyLumion now. Fast forwarding, this link can then be forwarded to anyone you like so they can navigate around on the latest design on a phone, tablet, or computer. You can jump between viewpoints by enabling these eye symbols, or you can jump between them in order using the arrows at the bottom left. Going back into the Panorama Studio, you can click to go to your online management environment. This allows you to view and manage all of your MyLumion projects. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this tour of Lumion 2023. I hope you picked up a few tips so you can get the most out of this powerful visualization tool. Be sure to check out the other in-depth, step-by-step tutorials on our YouTube channel and website. That's the best way to learn more advanced techniques. I'll see you in there.